Talk about the challenges that uh, this receiving <coughs> core from Alabama presents you guys. Uh, it's a definitely a great challenge for us. He's where we're at as a, a defensive back group. Um, they're a great receiver core, so got to give their hats to them. But we just got to play our brand of ball and just go out and execute the plan. Some been some coverage issues the last couple of games. Uh, been been burned pretty good at times. What, what's going on there? Is it um, mental or physical? Or? It's it's more it's more mental. It's more of people knowing what to do, but at the time having a memory loss and just having a brain fart. And we just got to hold in on our um, on our technique and just trust it. Trust ourselves. It's like we're not slow athletes. We're good athletes. So you got to trust yourself and your your technique. So that's what it usually is. People not fully believing in themselves. And then also um, not really doing the technique to the, the best of their ability. Miles, as a competitor, when you walk off the field, 66 to three, 62 to seven, how does that feel? How do you? What do you take from that to, to motivate and looking ahead? This it's year? it's a it's a learning experience, you know. Going through that two years, um, you just you want to do better. You you know you left some plays out there that could could have been made and stuff, but. Just losing like that, it just makes you want to come back the next day. You want to get that bad taste out of your mouth. So if a competitor is always going to come back and say, all right, who we got next? All right, let's move on, uh, push that behind us, and just move on and just get to the next. You really want to get to that Tuesday practice so you could really get that bad taste out of your mouth. That's what a competitor would do. What does it do for you in this game preparing for this team? Um, really, it's a whole new team. You know, We're in a whole new defense, so we're really – you really can't compare us to what we had in the past because we're a whole new team, whole new mindset, a mindset where where we we know that we can play with teams and we're not afraid before we even get there. So it's a whole different uh, feeling going into this game. It's not, oh, we're thinking about 66-3. We're, we're thinking about this year, not any year behind us. Like Coach always says, the past is just a point of reference. Is, is preparation any different these last few days going into a week where you got Judy and Waddle and Ruggs and all those guys, or no. is it just – more of the same. It's more of the same. You can't you can't change how you practice. You just got to practice hard for every team. So we practice hard Tuesday workday. So um, just knowing that you have them is in the back of your mind. But at the end of the day, they suit up. They still run the same routes. They might be a little better, but you're still going to go against the same routes, same offenses, same formations. You just have to hold in on the um, on the uh, scheme and just do it to the best of your ability. From what you remember about last year and from watching film, what makes Tua different than some of the other quarterbacks you faced? Um, I would say his accuracy. His accuracy is on point. Uh, you give him a window, he's going to fit it in there. And then also being able to scramble, keep his eyes down the field, knowing that he has those breakaway receivers that could get open at any point. Um, so just um, I would say his accuracy and then being able to throw in the run and really uh, use, his, use his athletes around him. Coach Clark was just talking about how against Cal a little bit, their quarterback's movement freed up some yeah. guys downfield. How do you guys protect against that with a mobile uh, quarterback? Like they say, uh, when quarterback gets out of the pocket, you have to, um, you have to plaster a receiver. So when you have a receiver, you got to keep your eyes on them. Don't, don't get it lazy and get your eyes in the backfield because that's when you'll lose a receiver and they get down the field and then you're trying to play catch up. So when they scramble, if you're on them, stay on them and just be able to um, keep your eyes on them and plaster receivers when quarterback scrambles. What have you seen out of some of the young corners like DeAndre Prince and Keydron. Um, De uh, DeAndre and uh, Keydron definitely have stepped up this year. Um, they they have more of a Keydron has more of a workload than he did in the past last year. And um, Prince has just been an athlete since day one, and he could clean up his technique. And he's he's just a great athlete. So coach trusts him. He's uh, built uh, built a uh, good enough resume in practice to be able to go in the game and execute to the best of his ability.